Hey everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the different types of value. You know that marketing is all about value and that value can be defined by looking at the cost benefit analysis which basically means that if you get more benefits than what you're giving up in terms of cost then that particular product that you got has value for you. Now talking about the different types of value, there are basically two types of values. One is utilitarian value and the other is hedonic value. Now utilitarian value is associated with the functional benefits that you get from the product. So here I have got a hammer. Now what is the objective or functional benefit that this hammer provides? That will determine the utilitarian value of this product. Now let's look at this drill. So what is the value of this drill? Now the value of this drill is also primarily based upon the functional benefits or the utility that the drill provides. Now this functional benefit of the product is what provides the utilitarian portion of the value of the product. Now if you think about a car, what is the utilitarian value of a car? The function of a car is to get a person from point A to point B. So transportation is the utilitarian function of a car and transportation therefore is the utilitarian value that the car provides. Now let's just take a look at another example as well. Why do we eat ice cream? Now the functional or objective benefit of, uti objective benefit of eating ice cream is that it provides us with nutrition. Now however I often find myself eating ice cream not only because I'm in need of nutrition but also because it makes me feel good when I'm down. It reminds me of my childhood memories. Now that value of making me feel good is not the functional benefit of ice cream, but it is more of a psychological benefit. Now this benefit is very subjective as it's a lot of the times in my head. Now eating ice cream for feeling good is not a utilitarian benefit but more of a psychological benefit so hedonic value you can think of it as being in your head right so if we just talk now we just talked about the utilitarian benefit of a car the utilitarian function of a car is to get somebody from point A to point B however if I buy a car I'm not only buying it for its function of getting me from one place to another place but I'm also buying because of how it looks because of how it makes me feel an old car or a new car both will provide me with the functional benefit of transportation. However, driving a new car makes me feel better. It makes me feel successful. Right? Wearing a $5 Casio watch or a Rolex watch both provide me with the same utilitarian value of telling time. But wearing a Rolex watch makes me feel special. It makes me feel that I am successful. And many times I might want to take it out, show it to my friends and be a little bit of a show off, right? So if you're buying a product for its function, then that's a utilitarian value. But if you're buying it for some experience or some psychological or subjective benefits, then you are buying it for hedonic value. Now, we can kind of look at all the products as if it belongs to a spectrum from a very utilitarian product like this drill or the hammer to a very hedonic product like this vacation. Now most product will fall somewhere in between in the spectrum and will provide both utilitarian as well as hedonic value. Now for more examples, be sure to watch my other videos. Thank you so much for watching.